Folks, welcome back to CCL Sports Cards. How y'all doing? I gotta tell you, it's been far too long. Now, if you'll recall, back as the year changed to 2024, we shared with you some real bangers that we were gonna send to PSA for cross holder review. Now, these were not crack and crosses, they were direct holder review. And I touched on why I did that at that time. Folks, the cards have come back from PSA and I can't wait to share the results. So keep that tape rolling. Folks, thanks for sticking with me. It is Christopher Davies here at CCL Sports Cards. Now, if you watch the intro, we are ready to reveal some of our bangers from the cross holder review. But I wanted to touch on, as you've seen on the show before, if you're a fan or a longtime subscriber, we have a tendency to crack cards out and send them in to see if they get a better grade. This was not that. This was a cross holder review. And the reason we did that, it's really mathematics. If you're sending, a, say, a, as one of the cards was, a $3,000, that's US dollars, a Bryce Harper card, and you crack that out and it comes back a 9 and it was a TG plus at Beckett, I mean, that's a really high stakes game that I'm not going to play. For me and my money, I'd rather just pay the 95 bucks, see if we get the double dime and a, an increase in value so we can resell. So we didn't crack and cross. These are high value cards, cross holder review. You with me? Now. Let's talk about how the reveal went. If you caught the previous, or sorry, how the cross holder review went. If you caught the episode where we showed you the cards we were going to send, we talked about how we moved a Connor McDavid True Gem Plus. You can see it on the screen there, BGS 95. And that turned into a PSA 10 and it made it the value go up and it was a tremendous resale. So we figured we'd try again. That was sort of the experiment. So we were one for one. Now, here's the rest of the cards. You'll see it on the screen there. It's a Frankie Lindor. It's his first Bowman Chrome Auto. It's a refractor. This card was a TG Plus as well. It did not cross. Thankfully, we're only out 55 bucks because it's 45 for the card. It was $10 for the auto. But this card, this is a Frankie Lindor. I mean, guys, his war is uh, probably 40. I haven't looked in a while, but I mean, he's had a pretty good career. This card will hold the value of the $55 grading fee. So I'm not too worried about, didn't cross, would have been nice as a PSA double dime, didn't make it. Now this card, I was really bummed about because I, as I talked about, I'd wanted to move into a Bryce Harper blue potentially and get rid of this. And I still might do that. I just won't do it with uh, a PSA double dime. The Bryce Harper refractor, wah, wah, wah. it did not cross to a PSA double dime. Now. This card cost $85 for the cross holder review. You can see it on the screen there. And why that's interesting is I talked about just when this episode began, if I was to crack this card out specifically, and for some reason this came back a nine, and because PSA pretty much said it was a nine because they wouldn't cross it to a PSA 10, you're looking at losing like $1,000 to $1,500 in value. I'm not willing to take that risk. It's just math. This is a $3,000 USD card. $85 grading fee? I think it's going to hold the value over time. What do you think? Now, this one was a risky bet. It was a Mookie Betts Refractor Auto, numbered to 499 or 500. Let me see here. Numbered to 500. Now, it wasn't a TG Plus. There was a 9 subgrade, so I was a little leery, but it's a high value card. I wanted the double dime it. I wanted to move to a Mookie Betts Blue, but wah, 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 it did not make the leap, sadly. Again, 85 bucks, 2500 to $3,000 card going to hold the value, so we're okay. And the last card that didn't make the, or second last card, excuse me, that didn't make the jump, the Pete Alonzo. This was more of a PC thing. I really love the Polar Bear. I love the Mets. I hope they play better this year. Uh, there's been some, mm, some interesting things with regards to the Mets over the winter, as I'm sure you've seen in the news, but love the Polar Bear. This card is a TG Plus, True Blue, Topps rookie card from 2019. It did not cross. 85 bucks. I think this card, we're into it for like 500 bucks, so call it six, I'm okay with that. But here's where the good stuff really begins. And if you've stuck with, this, with me this long, this is where the good stuff begins. So you figure by now with the four cards, we're probably out somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 350 to $400, give or take, with grading fees and shipping. You'll see it on the screen there. I don't have the card anymore because it actually sold. It's, and here's the uh, cross holder review uh, tag from BGS. It's a uh, BGS 95 True Gem Adley Rutschman Refractor from 2019 Bowman Chrome Draft. Now, the interesting part about that is that card only cost us $55, including the auto to grade. 
we were only into that card for $400 USD. So 400 plus the 55, 455 USD. We actually sold that card about 10 days ago in the store for $1,000 Canadian. So convert that, you're talking about $800 USD. We actually still ended up making about probably a $200 profit on the card. So I guess that tells you with cross holder review, if you're buying good enough cards where the value is going to hold, this is evidence like the Mookie Bats or the Bryce Harper, Adley resold at a profit. Now it didn't gem at PSA, but we still made money. Then we get to the TG Plus Mookie Bats Auto, the base auto. We were into this card for $1,200, sent it off to PSA for the double dime potential. It came back, ta-da, a double dime. You'll see it on the screen. We don't have the card. I've only got the slip from BGS in my hand. The card did become a double dime. It was beautiful. It became a pop 27 card. We sold that card about two weeks ago for 1800 USD. After fees and shipping, you figure we're up about $500 on the card. That is a tremendous profit. And if you take a step back, that one sale pays for all of our grading fees for one of the orders. So we're break even, but we had some more cards cross, which is super cool. Mookie Betts, Double Dime, beautiful card. Terrible to let it go, but we will pick up another one and maybe do it again. Now, this is a little bit of um, a prospect, as I like to use to talk about. Um, I don't talk about prospects as much anymore because that market is a little soft with regards to all prospects, unless your name is Wyatt Langford or whoever the soup du jour is, but I'm going to talk about that in a subsequent episode. This next card was the 2022 Bowman Chrome Damiano Palmagiani Auto, True Gem Plus. You can see it on the screen there, and ta-da! turned into a double dime we're into this card for next to nothing now he is a prospect so there is a little bit of speculation there but when this kid gets hot and i tell you this guy can hit he's got discipline he hits for power i love me some damiano palmagiani this card will sell like hotcakes i believe it's a pop two or three and a lot of his cards are off center so i'm super stoked about this card now i will say i did see palmagiani uh, hit this week in spring training he's a non-roster invitee and he did not look very good his stance looked good but he I think believe he struck out swinging but a lot of I say that sort of tongue-in-cheek you know he's probably pumped up like a lot of kids their first spring training he is going to be a stud in my humble opinion then we come to the true gem not TG plus but I believe without looking it was a true gem Mitch Marner future watch auto from 2016 this card, ta-da, it turned into a double dime and it turned into a pop 12 card. We were into this card for just under $600 USD and this card turned into a double dime. Right now it is for sale. We figure the value is around $1,000 USD. So do all the math. We're probably gonna make somewhere in the neighborhood of $250. If you wanna talk Canadian dollars, cause it is hockey, I believe my math is a little bit off, but I think it was $700 Canadian. It might have been $500 US and $700 Canadian, but we do have this card up for sale. It is a beauty. We will turn a tremendous profit on this card, and it's got a beautiful auto. Super excited about this cross. So we're talking about turning a profit on this endeavor now, which is what we're here for, making money in sports cards. Then we get to a guy who I think is one of the most underrated people in the NHL, Mr. Steven Stamkos. You'll see his Future Watch auto there on the screen from 2008. It was a TG Plus, and it crossed into a double dime. This is either a Pop 4 or a Pop 2 now. It is not for sale. I think Stammer is headed to the hall. I have lots of wonderful things to say about him. The value increase is probably in the neighborhood of three to $400. Um, given how low the pop is, given his status in hockey, the number of cups he's won. I love this Stammer card. The T you can see it on screen there. PSA Double Dime 2008 SP Authentic. Super duper outcome on that card. And the very last card we are going to reveal, it's another one that crossed. It is the Gabby Moreno TG Plus, the gold auto number to 50 from 2020 Bowman Chrome. It crossed and ta-da! it became a double dime as well. Now on this one, we're probably break even right now. We are injured for $800. I don't think we get much more than that for the double dime, maybe a little bit more, but I think he's got a big career in front of him. And when the baseball market card, baseball card market, excuse me, does recover, I mean, who knows? But this dude 
is a stud and we're super stoked to have this card. So if you're keeping score at home there, gang, we went six for 11 on our cross holder review, including the McDavid, and we are going to make money on this endeavor. Now it's important to note, and I tell you this not to impress you, I'm stoked about the results. I mean, the, you know, the Har Harper Crossing would have been like the, you know, the cherry on top, but you can't win them all. But here's the thing, and I'm sure you've heard this because I'd heard it a dozen times or more over the last year. Sending cards to PSA for cross holder review does not work. Well, 55% is a pretty good batting average, and I know we've already made money on this entire endeavor from the cards that we have sold, and we still have some gems to unload over time. Now, keep in mind, folks, I didn't just blindly grab TG Plus cards and throw them at PSA or TG cards from BGS and throw them at PSA. I reviewed the cards in the holders before I sent them to give me a pretty good idea as to whether they'd cross or not. So it wasn't like I just grabbed whatever and sent it. So there was, again, some thought involved, some effort, and some math. But I do want you to know, if you happen to still be in the hobby, you can still make money in the hobby. It may take a little more work. I love being with you folks. I love being in the hobby. Thank you for watching my show. I'll continue to deliver content, and I'll see you in the next episode. Be good to each other.